old school boom bap. Jason, are you going to do a video decoding Star Wars? You damn right I am. I didn't know it was going to open up a can of worms like this. All I did was answer a comment. It was a long, con long response I gave, but I answered a comment about Star Wars and gave a real fast bullet point presentation of whoever, who all the main characters were and what the, what it was really about. But uh, Star Wars tapped into archetypes. It's very important to understand. What that means is, and many movies do this, what that means is, is that the original writer the, who put together the composition that became Star Wars wasn't even realizing that his content was tapping into a, a tapping into an archetype or a series of archetypes. So the producer had had copy editors and other other screenwriters come in and the producer himself also added his own flavoring. This is how archetypes work. We're not always the origin the originers originators of the data that passes through our mind. I have given the example of the pendulum phenomenon many times. You guys need to pay attention to this. If you go into a quiet room and you sit down and you totally try to blank your mind, you try to totally try to exit everything out of your mind and just concentrate on nothing, I'm telling you now, you can't do it. Because thoughts are things, and they're not coming from your brain. They're all around you. You will, the, the quieter and the, and the more still that you sit, you will be overcome with a sensation of motion. And it will only be broken when you open your eyes. I'm telling you, inform the information field is all around you. And if you clear your mind, you will absorb data. It will just come to you. You'll build uh, your, your, your imagination is always building off these fragments that are flying through the air. It's basically what it is. We're all.